Welcome back everybody to my hardcore Minecraft series. I'm Smallish Beans and I'm terrible at hardcore Minecraft, but so far we've survived 21 hours. Does that mean you're going to take it easy today, Joel? Not a chance, silly viewer. Today, we're going to get straight to work on a crazy project surrounding this pool of water. Wait, that's not a very impressive pool of water. Let's change that, shall we? Starting with clearing some trees, then clearing some flowers, then placing a lot of water, which at the same time kills all the grass underneath and turns it to dirt. So let's bone mill that dirt to make it look a little bit nicer. Wow, I built this big puddle and I haven't even asked you to subscribe yet. That'd be really cringe to do it now. Please subscribe. Unless you're already subscribed, then please leave a like. So now we have our big puddle, but before we can build anything around it, there's some other stuff I want to do first. And one of those is build a cactus farm with our one piece of cactus we have here. But we need more than one piece, of course. So while we wait for this to grow, let's do some farming. Yay. Wow, this is so fun. So I did some more farming and more farming and potato farming and carrot farming. But don't worry, we did all that farming and our cactus managed to grow, right? Ha 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 ha, of course it didn't. But we're gonna make a proper cactus farm and we're gonna make it over here. And when I say proper, it's gonna be very basic, but it'll do for the time being. So we went off and collected ourselves some spruce wood and then we stripped that spruce wood, got all our copper, made it into some blocks. And then look, our cactus grew. I did a dance around it to celebrate, then split it into two cacti, but it still wasn't enough. So I decided to head out in search of a desert. On the way, I managed to find a bamboo vine, so I took some bamboo and some jungle saplings home. Then saw this. What on earth? Why are there so many turtles? What? I've never seen that before. There's even loads in the water as well. Anyway, that was weird. I found myself that desert though, so I got myself some cacti, some sandstone, then went home and mined some granite as well. Man, it's been a while, but look, materials. What do we do with those materials? We build a terrible cactus farm. Yes, this farm is terrible, but... The building's really cute though. Let's build it. Unfortunately, this is being built in possibly the most awkward spot to time lapse. But as you can see, we're clearing out this big hole here for our cactus farm to go. Then we got working on the outer building and the cactus farm itself. Wow, it's really hard to see this house because of this stupid pillar here. But look, our cactus farm is done. It's got eight pieces of cactus in it and they will eventually grow and drop cactus in here automatically. Hopefully we get one piece of cactus before this floor turns to oxidized copper. If we don't, I'll be very sad. All right, I guess we're ready now to build around this lake. No, I need a way of getting XP. And just up the hill here and behind this waterfall, ooh, look, there is a spider spawner. So close to our base. What's in the chests? Ooh, looting free. So we're gonna convert this into an XP farm. First I mined out the room, then I mined out the room some more. Then placed some water down and built the rest of the farm. It's really quite simple. It doesn't require many materials. And as you can see, it gets the job done. It's working. Let's stay here for a while and get some levels. So the farm is incredibly slow. I get about three XP levels per day, which is why we're on so many days right now. Oh, hello fella. And the reason I only have 33 levels is because I enchanted this sword and this other sword about six times until I got one that was good. And even then, it's not that good. But we now have enough levels to do our shovel, rubbish, and our helmet. Also rubbish. But now we are finally ready to get working on this area here. Also look, four whole cacti and our copper floor hasn't even started oxidizing. Amazing. Oh, I just remember we got the looting book as well, so we'll add this on quickly and call it Stinky. Now I know what you're thinking. Joel, what on earth are you building and what is the point of it? And to that I say you have a very good point, but let me explain. It's all for my nether portal. And the nether is very scary and I want to delay going to the nether as long as possible. But I've come up with a very cool portal design, but it would look weird by itself. So I need to build a village to make it look a bit nicer. But Joel, that's ridiculous. I know. Deal with it, okay. So we're going to start out by making ourselves a load of coarse dirt and grabbing a load of spruce planks. And then we get placing the pathway. And as you can see, it's kind of wide at the top. Then we have this sort of bridge and section here before it comes down to the water level. So this layout's looking pretty random, Joel. How did you come up with it? Well, let me tell you. I hopped onto my test world and I placed down a load of wool where I wanted buildings to be. I then shaped those buildings out a little bit and placed a path connecting them all. 
easy. Like I said last time, I play Minecraft a lot. If I can find a way to make things easier for myself, I'm going to do that. But what's not going to be easy is our next adventure, as we need to go find a mangrove swamp. And I've looked on the website Seed Map, which you can use to map out seeds, and it'll show you every biome. And I found a mangrove swamp, except it's 4,000 blocks away. So... Guess we better get walking. Anyone want to see a, a, a walking montage? Well, here you go. Ah! Sorry, just squealed. I thought that was going to be bigger. It's fine. Back to the walking montage. Yeah, you want walking? Here's some different biomes being walked through. As you can see, this one's water and I'm not walking. But here, I actually managed to find myself a desert temple, but it gave me a flashback. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm good. I don't want to die just yet. Instead, I want to mine down all these mangroves. Just kidding. That would take forever. I did collect some mud though. And I also collect some mango propagules. So I don't have to come back here in the future. As well as some wood just, just because. Anyway, time to head home through all those biomes again. But oh wait, look. A mine shaft with some glow berries. Ooh, lovely. But anyway, let's head home. We're going to use all this mud we got along with some granite. Which, ooh, we don't have. To make this pathway look less terrible. Speaking of mud, how are you doing, Muddy? Oh, I love you too. That was um, that was quite weird. But here's me farming my wheat up because I need the wheat to make packed mud, which I'm going to turn into packed mud bricks and then turn that into mud brick walls. I also fixed my pickaxe, went and mined some granite, went and got some spruce wood, and now we can actually make this pathway look a bit more presentable. We're going to add a bridge on the top right there and wall off the other sections. And look, it's idiot proof. I can't fit through it and fall off and die, which is good. So you have your path, Joel. But what about this village you talked of? Well, we need some villagers first. But before we go get them, quick cactus farm check. Ooh, it's all coming together. I need the green dye. And then we can dye our sheep and start breeding them again. But anyway, time to go through that horrible task of getting villagers, which everybody hates. Managed to get them in some minecarts, though. Send them up on some rails I created, and we got transporting them. The annoyingly mountainous terrain all the way over to our area, where I dug out this hole underneath where the farms are, and also broke my diamond shovel. And in this hole is where we're going to put our villagers. No fancy villager breeder, because I'm not really wanting to automate everything just yet. Instead, we put them in here with some beds, quite a few beds actually, and then we threw them some food and we got our first baby villager. Oh! Alrighty, we have our villagers and they're starting to breed up. So I guess it's time to get working on this village. And the first thing we need is a way to get emeralds, and we've got a lot of crops over there. So I thought, how about some farmer villagers in a little house here? where I'm stood right now. So let's go get some materials and hopefully they will sound like the start of the song Land Down Under. Okay, that's enough of that. But look, materials. Let's build a house and this time there will be no Land Down Under, but there will be a house on upper here. Cool, let's build. That was not clever whatsoever. That was really bad. But anyway, here's our first village building. It is a farmhouse where we're going to keep all our farmers, which of course we had to transport in. So after I got myself a load of wheat, I brought them all in one by one. And then when I farmed all my carrots and all my potatoes and started trading with them. Our first stack of emeralds. Lovely. So now we have a quick way of getting emeralds. Time to build some other stuff. But first, we need some diamonds as our tools are getting really low and I want some diamonds to fix them. So we headed down to this cave here and we got lucky straight away. We managed to find a load of diamonds, enough to fix our tools for now. And then we got collecting a load of other materials as well for our village buildings. And we're going to build them one by one. And I'm not going to show you collecting the materials every time. Instead, you're going to see lots of lovely time lapses in a short amount of time of me building them. So we're starting off with our Fletchers here, which we quickly got some villages in. We got some more materials and we built a building right over by the stairs here. And this is going to be our Smiths. And of course, had to put the villagers in here as well. Then we got building the armorers which is going to be at the bottom of the stairs here and you guessed it the villagers to go inside them and then we got some more materials and then we got building our first diagonal building here which is actually a butcher's and yep once again villagers and more villagers and finally more materials and we got building our fishing villager place i don't know what it's called the fish barn i guess oh wait i'm forgetting something oh yeah the villagers oh boy what you just watched was five hours of progress and building in a minute and a half. Pretty crazy, but I've built a lot of villages before and each building, although unique, they're nothing special. Inside we have decorated them 
And I will be farming and utilizing these guys very soon. And no, there are no librarians as a... I have another idea for that. Instead, we have the toolsmiths. The armorers, the butchers, and the fishermen. But although this place is looking a lot more dense now, it could be denser. I want to decorate it some more before we get moving on to our nether portal. And I think some trees, some bushes, and stuff like that will really bring it together. So we're going to go collect a load of materials, but you won't see that. Instead, next up, we're going to have a big time lapse of me just completing everything else. And by everything else, I mean some bushes, some rocks, and then some flowers. And then I got building a couple of trees as well. One birch tree, because that's fun. A couple of oak trees and also a pond. Oh, doesn't this look a lot nicer now with these trees added in and all this greenery and the dripstone and moss around really brings it all together. So now that's all done. It's probably time we got working on what we actually want to do today. And that is our nether portal, which is going to be around about here somewhere, just next to the village. But this is not going to be a simple task as I want to build two nether portals. One over there and one there. And I need a way to connect them. Guess we're going to have to gather some more materials. But first, we're nearly on day 200. And we need to check on Muddy. Muddy, how you doing, fella? Oh, you're so cute. And in case you're wondering how long it takes to get to day 200, it's around about 35 hours. Meaning I've spent 14 hours on this video so far and I haven't done what I actually want to do. And I know what you're thinking, Joel. I can't listen to you right now because there's a carrot missing on the top right there. I'm so sorry about that. There you go. Let's get working on this portal. But first, a third person water bucket jump. Can I do it? No. Ah! Anyway, we fixed up our diamond pickaxe, got mining some dripstone, got mining some andesite. Then we went and chopped down a lot of spruce trees, like I nearly used up my entire axe here. And then stripped some dark oak wood and chopped that down as well before gathering ourselves some obsidian for the portal we need. I then got working on the bridge. That's what we're going to call this because guess what? It is a bridge, but not a bridge for walking on, really. Well kind of it is because that's all you can really do in Minecraft. But you'll see there's some rails being added onto this bridge as this is going to have something on top of it. Oh, what a lovely bridge this is after it is complete now. What is that up there? Yeah, it's a skeleton. Spooky. But I've not lit the portals yet and today we're actually going to only light this portal over here. The plan is to have this portal be to the nether and that portal to be to the nether roof. If only we had a train or something that would link the two. Hmm. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. Well done you for predicting that and definitely not me just telling you. And you'll also see there's some blocks missing around the edge here because I wanted this to have a sort of nether theme towards the entrance. So I haven't finished it just yet, but we will once we go to the nether, which is obviously quite scary. I'm going to grab some stuff. Let's get prepared. And now we can go to the nether. Guys, I don't want to. I'm scared. What if I die? Oh, well, we've made it 200 days. That's pretty good. Let's head in. Please be a good spawn. Please be a good spawn. Okay. 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 Oh, it's going the other way. Thank goodness. Don't know why my voice went weird for a second. I'm going to get some gold armor. I'm going back. I'm already scared. There we go. I feel much better with my shiny shoes. Let's get these materials we need. And then I can get the heck out. Starting with, of course, some never rack. Sit. Sorry. Ooh, looks like there's our fortress, but kind of scared to go there at the moment. Hello, little friend. Just kidding. I am not your friend. Let's instead grab some warped wood, as that's another material I need. Actually, I will head to the fortress, as I need some nether bricks. Oh, this is absolutely terrifying. Make a wide path, Joel. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Just break that one. Don't fancy going up there, though, so we'll just destroy this pillar. We also need some magma blocks. And the last thing on the list is blackstone. This is gone relatively smoothly, surprisingly. Not falling in any lava, not too many ghasts. Lovely. Touch basalt, not jinx it. Well, let's grab this blackstone quickly. And with an inventory full of all the things we need, we can head home. A successful never adventure. We found a fortress. There's a bastion over there. I'm hopeful 
for the future of my never adventures. Now I want to build this train, but there's some overworld materials we need to gather as well. So let's go get them. Should we do a magical transition from our never materials? Whoa, chest is closed. And open it back up and look at all those materials. Wow, isn't that crazy? Ha ha ha. That didn't take me ages or anything. Only about 30 minutes. So I guess it's time to finish off the sections at the end here and also get building our train. All aboard the time lapse. So I wanted to make it clear that this was a train coming from the Never, so that's why I used mainly Never materials, which makes it look kind of weird, but also kind of cool at the same time. We also use different colors of stained glass here to make it look like there's some fire slash steam coming from it, and I think the effect is very cool. Choo choo. I didn't swear there. I just said choo-choo baby. I don't know why it bleeped it. But look at our train. Look at it. Oh, I love it so much. I think it looks marvelous. A train straight from the nether linking our portal to our future portal over there. Oh, I'm very happy with this. I normally don't build things like this. But today, I don't know, I was feeling fancy. But look, there's even like seats inside. You can get in between the carriages like so. And there will be our new portal. I love it. Also, I just want to say we started this video on day 119 and we're already on day 223. Meaning what? That's 104 days we spent on this thing. Honestly, quite impressed with the progress we've made. And I'm excited to get utilizing this village. I've already been up in the trades of some of these guys. But emeralds are tough when you're farming by yourself. But look at it from down here. This just feels so, like, dense, doesn't it? And in a good way. And I can't just sit here and leave all these crops unfarmed. Let's change that quickly. Look at them all disappear. They're all disappearing. Goodbye. Ah, lovely. What an end to an episode. I'm excited to continue this world. If you have any ideas for this world, let me know. I came up with the Never Train idea, but we've got more space for new stuff. And next time, we're going to be doing some other crazy project. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I shall see you in episode three. Good. Bye.